More breaking news coming in and Kerala governor has given his approval to an ordinance by the left government in the state amending the Kerala Police Act that provides for jail term for any social media or cyber post that is deemed offensive or threatening. According to this ordinance, any person who creates or sends any information that's offensive or is intended to offend or threaten another person via any means of communication will be liable to face imprisonment and a jail term of five years or a fine of 10,000 or both. I'm joined by my colleague Vivek over the phone line on this. Vivek, so this is a very stringent law uh, which the Kerala government is planning to bring about in cases of online abuse. But this uh, act has also in fact come across a lot of criticism, uh, especially by opposition parties essentially saying that this seems to be a very strong measure against uh, I I when it comes to dealing with online abuse. Exactly. Uh, you know, many opposition parties and also left loyalist activists, especially human activists, have condemned this law, saying that this law is a draconian law. Where Section 118A, uh, uh, you know, uh, of the Constitution of the Article has uh, been uh, added uh, to, uh, you know, uh, to the Police Act. Remember, uh, it's the 1996 uh, Kerala Police Act uh, that we uh, amended as of now, and according to this law, any person, uh, you know, if for he or she posts. Uh, any uh, message on the social media, be it on uh, Facebook or Instagram or WhatsApp, uh, you know, offending or insulting any of the government officials or ministers or chief minister, or if at all these people feel they are offended, that the government has got all provisions to arrest him and jail him for five years and also impose a fine of rupees 10,000. Now, uh, in some cases, they say that, you know, both the pro you know, provisions will be applicable. So this is something which is... Uh, you know, uh, questionable and, and and many cyber experts and human rights activists ask as how do you know which is the comment which is derogatory, who decides what is derogatory, what is not. And, uh, you know, the problem is, uh, you know, when uh, a government, when an elected government comes up with such a draconian act uh, and that is without consulting the opposition parties and other cyber experts, uh, it becomes uh, quite problematic, especially we know uh, that the left government, especially the CPM, has been extremely vocal and critical uh, when it comes to such laws, uh, you know, which will report to BJP and And that's the reason why, uh, you know, many people oppose it. And even cyber experts and uh, as senior advocates say that right. if at all this is being challenged in the Supreme Court, the ethics court, that there are chances that the Supreme Court will ask the state government to repeal it. So it means that, uh, yes, it is a problematic and a questionable act, uh, you know, in, uh, especially Section 118A. And remember, the state government has already been facing wrath, especially on the gold smuggling case, right. the dollar smuggling case, and especially a number of cases of late. And, uh, you know, opposition and various, uh, even left loyalists have been questioning the government, uh, especially the, the, the state secretary and the chief minister in the way. Uh, they have been conducting uh, the investigations, and, and that's the reason why many, many feel that the you know, no, 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 government is trying to cut the opposition wall. Right, the Kerala, Kerala government's move there, there being criticized, criticized by the opposition, opposition as well as, as, as activists. Vivek, thank you so much for joining us with that.